Hi, we're going to take a look at some of the new stuff that YouTube has added to our measuring area, which is dealing with annotations. So here's an example of a video that I've made that utilizes annotations. I've got these set up as a table of contents type situation, and down at the bottom is more of a common thing that's just sort of a, a label. But we can click on these items and jump to different portions of the video, which is one of the best uses, in my opinion, of an annotation for a longer video. So let's dig into that and get right to it. So right now we are looking inside the manager, the analytics area, and I've gotten there. Usually the easiest way is click on video manager up here in the upper left and then click to where it says analytics. And I've jumped right into the area where we're going to focus on views. And so what views lets us see is how many views we've got for the particular time frame how many are monetizable if you're doing monetization. And let's just scroll down the list here. Now a couple new things that have just sort of come across my radar, at least I just noticed it. If you mouse over these particular items now, you will actually see a thumbnail. Plus you'll see the name of the channel, when it was uploaded, and what the duration of the video is. That's something new for me at least. This will help you when you're looking through your videos to figure out which is the particular one you want to focus on. So we're going to take a look at this particular video called YouTube Thumbnail Trick 2012 Tutorial. So I'm going to click on that. That's going to change my analytics area to be focused on a specific video, which is this one. It tells me for the time frame selected that we're working at 15,186 views, etc. So you get to see the chart as to when those views are happening and you can adjust the particular date range. Now we've seen that probably before, but what I'm wanting to focus on right now is this brand new area here on the bottom called annotations. It says beta after it. Let's click on it, load up the annotations information or analytics about annotations for this particular video. So what we've got here is along the top, we've got the click-through rate and the close rate. So I will we're right now, click-through rate by default is chosen, and here's our bar, our chart, our line graph, telling us when, how often people are clicking on our particular annotations. This is the close rate, so that'll change to a different graph. And if you want to, you could compare the two, compare the two together. Um, that may be helpful for you right now. It just looks kind of interesting, but I'm going to turn it off and go back to none. So we're going to start with click-through rate and see what the heck that is. If you click on the little question mark here, it tells you this is the percentage of clickable annotations that received clicks. So you might have had a lot of annotations. I do in this particular video. And so out of all of those, I'm getting about 3.36%. I don't know if that's good or bad, but it is what it is. Close rate, if you actually click on the question mark there, it tells you the percentage of annotation impressions that were closed by the viewer. Impressions means how many times they saw it. So if they saw the annotation and they closed it because they said, get it out of here, I don't want to see it, that's what we're looking at right here. So sometimes annotations aren't what people are interested in, so they're going to close it. And so that's what we've got when we're looking at that particular metric. So let's scroll down here a little bit to see what we've got for the details. Um, it is currently sorted by click-through rate, which means the most commonly clicked show up on the top. So what we've got here are the top three. And just as a reminder, we'll bring us back to the video. This is the area that we're talking about. So right back and forth. This is the time range of the video. It's from one minute and one second through one minute and 11 seconds. All three of those, the top three, are represented right here. So this is the top one or the first one. There's second and the third. And if you'll notice, if you mouse over, there's a pop-up. It tells you this particular one, if I click on it, it's going to go to this video at 1 minute and 12 seconds into the video. And this one would go to 1 minute and 35 seconds. So it's just a quick way to jump to different parts of your video. So those seem to be the most popular ones. The very first one, the top one being the most popular, meaning it's getting the highest percentage of click-through rate. So people are jumping right to that, what was it called, the overview. So that's the most popular one. Um, it also has a relatively high close rate, which actually relatively high is different. Here's one that had a very high close rate, 15.4% compared to the other ones. Uh, and basically what this is doing is when I'm giving people the alert, and there's the text that pops up telling you what it is, it says it looks like YouTube has fixed this particular issue that caused the trick to work. 
So people don't want to be told that it's not working anymore, so they're clo closing the warning. So, But, you know, there it is. Uh, here's a very common thing that people would do, especially near the end of a video, is put in an annotation that asks people to subscribe to your channel. So you can get an idea how many people are actually clicking through to do the subscription option, or how many are closing it saying, I don't want to see it anymore. Okay, so that's annotations uh, briefly overviewed. Uh, something else here along the top, when we're working with annotations and the analytics, we can look geography-wise who or what nations are clicking the most. So the highest click-through rate seems to be in Panama, followed by Albania. It's not what I was expecting, but there it is. So you can, you can scroll through your list. Uh, there's the UK. Here's the United States already down to numbers 47, getting a 3.13% click-through rate. So there it is. Uh, the highest percentage of people, even though it's a smaller number, is Panama. They do a lot of clicking on annotations. Uh, the date, this might be handy for you to see um, out of your date range how many views you've got and what the click-through rate is for that particular rate or day uh, versus the close rate. So this is annotations inside the YouTube analytics area, which again, we've, we've found that by probably coming and starting out in our video manager. So if you found this to be helpful, go ahead and find me, Ronnie Bincer, right here on Google+. Or you can also look for me on video at Video Leads Online inside YouTube. That's the name of my YouTube channel. At least it is for now. And we talk about video, video SEO, tips on how to use YouTube, how to use Google+, how to use what are called Hangouts, which is where all the stuff comes together. In my mind, one of the best parts of using Google+, is doing Hangouts. So go ahead and add a comment to this video somewhere. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a plus one. Share the love. Share the video with other people. And we'll talk to you later.